Update time. Uh, got this guy. Clean this up. We've done gaskets top to bottom. Cleaned all the stuff, painted everything. And then of course, on the driver's side, we have a broken stud and a broken stud. Now, on any of these truck motors, the driver's side header goes down and then cuts over to the passenger side and they link up in a Y pipe. And so the entire weight of the exhaust is working on this side, every vibration forever. So you're always going to have at least this guy broken, sometimes this guy broken, and then eventually a hanger for the exhaust will break and then this guy will break. It's just the way the exhaust is like you know, racking back and forth on every bump and vibration. So, luckily we don't have the one over here. We have the two over here though. And every now and then you get lucky and it'll just pop the head off and you'll have a chunk sticking out that you can get a set of vice grips on. And it may have been broken when they tried to take it off. It may have been broken from vibration. But either way, if it's... You don't want to just put the vice grips on there and start trying to un undo it. You want to put them on there and maybe even tap with a hammer to send some vibration through. Because you're talking about a steel bolt into an aluminum head. These are all aluminum. So you want to give it a little tightening first to break loose all the chunks. Or if it's they were trying to back it out and broke it and gave up, then you're getting rid of that bind it's in. Get rid of that first. And then try and take it out. And I've gotten, if there is enough out to get a set of ice grips on, I've gotten them out every single time. Then you have where there's actually, it's like below the surface of the head. Bitch. Um, if, bitch. If there's, if there's a little bit sticking out at all, like enough to uh, take, for example, an old nut or lug nut and like set it on there so that there's some protruding in there. You can reach in there with the welder and just blast the shit out of it and then let it cool a little bit. Not a lot. You don't want to let it get to like bone cold next day. You just let it cool down until it's not hot. And then you can again kind of work it and it'll unscrew it right out. However, when you get to like this, where they're below the surface, the problem ends up being, one, it's harder to line up and know where you're hitting. Like the aluminum isn't, it's not gonna hurt the aluminum. And even if it does, you can see the threads don't even start until well below the surface. And then that's not gonna get into your surface mating area over here. And even if you fuck up the top two or three threads, it doesn't matter. Those, those bolts are pretty long. So <clears throat> what we're running into is you'll try and get this lined up and it's a hassle because you're trying to like hold the welder and the ground and everything. And the weld will end up being more attracted to the steel than the tiny little bolt head way down at the bottom of the hole and the weld will stick more to the nut than it will, you know what I mean. So then we get into, well, you need a washer. And see, with a washer, I can get that tip way up close to it, and I can blast a whole bunch on the top of that, that stud. And then once that stud is like a mushroom coming out and attaching to this washer, I can then take that shitty lug nut and not only put it on top of it and have somewhere to weld between the nut and the washer. The washer's already welded to the post, right? So then weld the nut to the washer and inside the hole to the stud, which is welded to the washer. Let that cool, and this guy should just back right on out. So that's what we're going right. to do. Now, I'm no professional welder. But I'll share what I've learned in my little bit of time. So for the washer, um, 
if you've got a hardware pile like me and this guy these have both been sitting there the same amount of time which one is galvanized um, so you don't want to use the galvanized obviously this is going to cause your weld to be porous and weak and when you go to unscrew the bolt it's going to just snap right off so don't don't use galvy um so find a nice rusty one and clean it off real good inside the hole too because that's what you're really going to be welding to so like inside there maybe run a drill bit through it clean this off of the wire wheel both sides that way you don't contaminate the weld the better the weld the more chances it's just gonna right and then the hole size you don't want to be fighting the hole and you don't want to be ruining your aluminum so you really just want to find one that's going to be the perfect size to give you full access to the steel focus um and not too much of the aluminum it doesn't have to be flat as long as once it's welded you can move on to the nut now with the nut you don't want it to be too deep because again, like we were talking about, the wire is just going to stack up out here. It's not going to make it down here. If you got a washer, though, and you're just welding around the outside edge of the washer to the bolt, then you'd still get pretty good purchase. So as long as the washer is welded good and you only weld on the outside of this, this would work. Otherwise, you want to go with a shallower nut so you can really get that wire down in there and weld to the washer but make sure it's not a nylock meaning there's a nylon which is plastic uh washer built into the head of the nut so that when you tighten it down it stays tight it won't vibrate loose that nylon's going to melt it's going to get in the weld it's going to contaminate and you feel me so i got these old lug nuts off an old car they're really good steel same with the washers off of the really old car. Really good steel. And then, uh, yeah, probably one of these. And then we'll uh, put that together. And then I'll have to do it again. All right. Washer on. Now put the nut over the top. Weld them together. Let it cool a little. All right. She's uh, warm. And then I'll let it not be so warm. There it goes. De-warm you. And then uh, we'll see what happens. Well, it started to move and then it broke. So uh, hotter, faster, longer. And there you go. Just like that. You just gotta really get in there and then focus. There's the hole. None of the threads are jacked, nothing. And it was still pretty tight in there. So I definitely recommend anti-seize on all of these when you put it back together. Now I'll do one more. There you go. Happy hunting. Like if you like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, keep on modding.